In the UK, we estimate that 75 to 100 days a year, we have airports that are severely compromised because of the headwinds in capacity terms. And that capacity reduction on those days results in really significant delays for the public and ultimately cancellations of flights. What we've managed to do with the intelligent approach is to invent a way to turn radar distance separations into time. And then if we convert that time separation into a display on the radar screen, it means that we have largely eliminated the significant delays that we used to experience. Gatwick Airport is a world first deployment of intelligent approach for a single runway, what we call mixed mode. Previously, it has been landing aircraft only. At Gatwick, we also have to amend it to be able to take account of the departures in the middle. For a single runway airport, the challenge is to create the spacing between two arrival aircraft that is just the right amount of time for the interweaved departure to get airborne. So there's been a lot of work that's gone on with our colleagues at Swanwick to uh, design the procedures, uh, to test and train the controllers. So at uh, London Gatwick, we operate the most efficient single runway in the world. Advanced mixed mode will deliver a more resilient operation. It will make the flow of arriving traffic much more consistent. And that means things like reduced holding. It means better on time performance for the airlines, which of course benefits their passengers. And those are all things when we're talking about building resilience into the operation for the long term are really, really important to the airport. The most important thing for me is at the end of every day, we have delivered the amount of planes and passengers that were looking to use Gatwick Airport to the destinations or to the UK safely and efficiently. Intelligent approach will allow us to do that in a more resilient way and also to increase the throughput to help Gatwick continue to be successful in the future.